Not only has the national champion in the mile, but also sets an NCAA record with four All-Americans. Um, there we go. I didn't know that. No All men's right. or women's team has ever done that in the history of the mile. Okay. And obviously, you got the previous men's record with another group. Yeah, sweet. Well, good to hear. Absolutely. So, I mean, just to get six out of the 16 to start and end up with four out of the eight and the champion. Yeah. What yeah. Does that mean? No, it was great. I mean, the, the rounds are tough. I, I think at NCAAs, it's like... Just those prelims are so hard to get people in. It's just the NCAA's gotten so good. So that's probably the most stressful part, honestly, is like day one, just trying to get people to, to the final. Um, so we, yeah, look forward to, to get four of them, four, four out of six through, and then um, yeah, they executed a great, great plan in the final. Going into the race, who'd you think was gonna win? That's a very good question. Um, I, I honestly didn't know. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you. Um, they've all looked really good in practice yeah honestly I haven't had, had no idea I think I think all four of them on the day could probably do it and it kind of gave them all a shot a shot to do it uh I think Luke and Brian were the freshest and so Luke maybe had a slight slight advantage but uh the way Nathan's been working out and Joe yeah just really any of them could have won when Luke took the lead were you thinking that was the right time to do that to go from that yeah so we kind of like you, we kind of got lucky with the draw because we had the three guys on the outside and so we kind of could line those three up exactly how we wanted it. And so uh, we just told Luke he takes it first, and then they just go in a line and just settle in behind everybody in, into last so they could kind of see what was what was happening. And um, then with the K to go, you know, we, we just said the three guys move to the front. Nathan, you stay where you are. Um, and those three guys just moved up perfectly. And then um, it was, I think, I think the best move was Luke was supposed to take it with three to go. Um, and Brian Fay was going to, like, open up the door and just kind of move to the outside and let Luke go on the inside. And, and Luke executed perfectly, and then they just all kind of followed Luke from there. Yeah. But it also said, like you said, perfect execution to Joe. And he, you know, he only finished fourth, which... Yeah. Do you, why do you think he... Executed? Joe had the hardest part of the race because... He was basically had to go on the shoulder of those two guys, and his job was to try to hold people off. And so he was on the shoulder the whole time. And then, and then when he felt ready, he was going to try to slingshot by Luke and, you know, try to win the race um, or at least finish one, two if we could. Um, but that's a hard position because you're on the outside and you're just basically holding people off. So trying to control the race with two or three people was basically – Plan for, so for you tell you tell him before the race your role is to try to prevent people from passing us to make sure we. So go for Joe, yeah, yeah, it was like, hey, just like, cause like it was, it's like it's like a four by four. Like the four by four is the best way to explain it. Like if you have the baton and you have it in the lead, you do everything you can to hold the person off, you know, yeah. um, especially on the straightaways. And so you just kind of like on indoor track, that's kind of the mentality that you have once you control the race, and, and that's why like, I don't know, there's probably three or four of the last six or seven years, the person that kind of controls the least, the, the race that's leading often, often wins. Well, they did at least last year. And then I remember the, uh, the Virginia guy did Henry Wynn a long time ago, beat, beat my guys um, when I was in Oregon. So yeah, they, they executed really well though. You've had some great Milan crews from, yeah. from Oregon here and obviously yeah. not Washington. What's unique about this one compared to previous, you know, when you swept at 1500? Yeah. Back, like, yeah, there's, there's kind good of names there, but what's different about this team? They're they're all they're all great. Yeah, they're just they're just great individuals that, that work well together. So I mean, I'm super proud of this group. Um, but like love the group when it was like Johnny Gregoric and Daniel Wynn and um, Eric Jenkins and Kobe Alexander and Cheswick. Like that group was super super special as, as well. Um, different ways, but just just that they all wanted to do the team thing. And like I, you could probably tell with those three guys, I don't think they cared who won. Just as long as one of them won. I mean, they wanted to try to you know we, obviously you try to like go one two three four if you can. But I think they were really happy, like genuinely really happy for Luke. And, it was the same energy um, outdoors in the 15. Yeah, so. exactly. Um, and so. It's it's kind of a special, special thing. It's kind of cool two Washington boys, Luke and Joe, just know each other for a long time. But uh, yeah, but, but like just really, really great group. I think we're getting a lot of recognition because we have like we've run fast in the mile, and I think things have just changed a little bit. Um, I have a feeling if I would have done something similar with those other groups, we probably would have been similar times. Um, we just thought it was fun and exciting, and you could set things up pretty well at BU. So um, for whatever reason, maybe it's just being a head coach now, I had the luxury of being able to kind of do that and set up, set up some good races. Well, that's a big question. 2010 yeah, yeah. Oregon, 2015 Oregon, 2023 Washington. That I'm in a four by mile. Who wins? Who wins? At that age, not. Well, I think I think – the 2010 has the record right now or whatever when it was Galen and and Weeding and, uh, and, and, and Sentuance yeah. and uh, 
uh, kip to there, but um, yeah, they're honestly they're all great and and fortunate for me. Like I, I'm not gonna pick one. Like like I, I love I love all those guys. Like my phone is blowing up from all of those guys right now, and I think they're all really happy for for me and and, and the group. And uh, yeah, just just really special to kind of have. I, I never thought probably in 2015 that I would ever see anything remotely close to that again. Honestly, like I I, I knew that was a really special thing. So to kind of be able to. to have something similar, it's, it's, it's really pretty great. Awesome. Best of luck outdoors. Thanks for the time. Thanks, Andy. guys.